Hello and welcome to the second of these two lessons about points, lines, and planes. We'll go a little bit deeper. We'll make some more connections with, um, with algebra. It's really humid in here for some reason, and I know it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable. I hope that doesn't distract you from your learning, but uh, let's, let's just do the best we can with that. Uh, so here's a couple of terms that we need to know. Collinear points are points on the same line. Uh, co, the prefix co, co means with. So they are points that are that align, uh, they're on a line with other points. So here we go. This is points A, this is point B, this is point C. We very simply can say that points A, B, and C are collinear points. They are on a line with each other. Um, and then non-collinear is exactly what you probably think that it is. If I add a point out here, I could say that A, B, and D are non-collinear points because they're not on the same line. That's all that that is. The shape that you can make with non-collinear points are a triangle with three points. Uh, if you can make a line, they're collinear. Okay. Now, um, plot each series of points and determine whether the points are collinear or non-collinear. How can you tell? Well, let's start by just plotting these points. Here is 2, 1, 4, 3, negative 1, negative 2, um, et cetera, et cetera. We can get those points plotted here. Now, how can we tell? Well, it's not just as simple as saying, do, does it look like they're on the same line? Um, we're going to talk about slope. So to go from this point to this point, I would go up three to the right three. That's a rise of three, a run of three, gets me a slope of one. To go from this point to this point, it goes up two to the right two, which is also a slope of one. So are these points on the same line? Yes, the, the way that I know that is not because they look like they're on the same line, it's because the slope is constant. Um, in, in order for a line to exist, the slope must be constant. So we can, we can, if we calculate the slope between these two sets of points here, it has to be the same. Now, if you can make a triangle, it's, uh, they're non-collinear. Like, so B, these are non-collinear. I don't, uh, I could, if, so clearly the slopes are very different. That's a negative slope, that's a positive slope, um, so that's fine. Number C here is pretty simple because we can see that they're all on this vertical line. Um, the slope of a vertical line is undefined. Um, there's, there's, it's not that there's zero slope, there is no slope um, for that one there. If I go down to D, um, there's D, E, and F here are the, uh, so these are a little bit more tricky. Are they on the same? Um, line or not. Well, let's calculate the slope. This guy goes down one to the right six. That down is a negative one over six. This one goes down one to the right seven. So are, is the slope the same? No, negative one six and negative one seven. There's a different. So they're non-collinear. Why are they non-collinear? Because the slope changes. Um, here on E, it goes up, up five to the right two, up five to the right two, or up five to the right um, I'm sorry, up 5 to the right 3 and up 5 to the right 3. The slope is constant. It's 5 thirds. <clears throat> and so, yeah, excuse me, that, that it, they're, um, they were collinear. Then F here goes down 6 to the right 6, down 5 to the right 4. That is not the same. 6 over 6 is not equal 5 over 4, so they're non-collinear. That, that is how we can answer those questions. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. The slope part is, comes from algebra. Now, we just talked about co Linear, let's talk about coplanar. Well, you probably got this figured out. Coplanar points are ones that are on the same plane. All right, so what does this look like? Well, if I got this plane over here, those points that are on the plane, of course, coplanar. Any point that is within the boundaries of those are also going to be within it. Now, when we draw, a, when we have a, a representation of a plane, anything that's inside the boundaries of those, we will say, are in the plane. And any point that we, that's outside the boundaries on it, uh, that we would say are not in the plane. So these are, this is now an example of points that are non-coplanar. Are the sets of points in the exercise above coplanar or non-coplanar? Well, yeah, because they're all in, in that coordinate plane, the xy plane. Yes, that, they, those are certainly examples of coplanar points. All right, here's a word that you're familiar with, intersection. Um, in fact, 
today at some point in time, you may have come across Old Rigger Boulevard and Franklin Road if, and, and Brentwood, um, or at least you're familiar with it probably. What is the intersection of those two roads? It's the part of pavement where those two roads overlap, where they share pavement as the intersection. And so the, the formal definition here is the set uh, the intersection of two figures, where the, no matter if they're point or if they're lines or planes or whatever they are, um, is the set of points that are in both figures. In other words, it's the shared points. It's the part that they, they both have. It's the part that overlaps. Um, if you're paying attention right now, give me a, a, a just draw me a quick little picture of two roads intersecting with a car or a, a bicycle down there. That would be that would be great. Just see see if you're listening to me or not. Three words that refer to the intersections are in, on, and contains. So at, if, if it says point A is in line BC, that means that, that they intersect. We'll, we'll talk more about that um, as we go. Two points, if they intersect, I'm sorry, two lines, if they intersect, they intersect exactly one point. Two planes, his, this is a picture of what two planes intersecting could look like. If they do, they form one line. And then a line and a plane, if they intersect, they, uh, if, as long as the line is not within the plane completely, they will intersect at a single point as well. Those are a couple of, uh, of things that, that we'll gather as we go. Don't have to worry too much about that yet. Um, now, when we flip the page, here are examples of the types of questions you're going to be answering here. This is a classic now geometry figure, which um, hopefully you can learn to see. This is plane in. That's kind of a vertical uh, plane that's going through this. And then plane M would be a horizontal one that they, 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 kind of, they overlap. This, the dotted part is, is, means that this line over here is kind of behind it, actually. If like, you can't see it, I'll, I'll show you one in class where you can see it as well. All right. So points A, B, and blank are collinear. Well, we're point, points A and B are on a line together, line A, B. What other point is on it? Well, Z. Okay. Um, blank is the intersection of line AZ and line CD. So, so these two lines, what are the points that, that these two lines share? Well, they, it's a single point. It's Z is the, it's the point that they both have. Blank is the intersection of plane M and line CD. Well, pl plane M is, are all the points within this boundary here. Line CD uh, gets through. Is C is not in the plane. D is not in the plane. But what point on this line is in the plane? Z. So the intersection is Z. Blank is the intersection of plane M and plane N. Well, here are the two planes. What points are in both of them? Well, okay. A is in M, but it's not in Z. Y is in M, but it's not in, in plane N. I said Z. Uh, Z is in M, but it's not in N. The points that are in both, F and E. And so if F and E are in it, then all the points that are in between, the, the line that contains F and E, all those points will also be. So the intersection is line F, E. Blank is intersection of plane M and AZ. Well, okay, which points of... Uh, line A, Z are in plane M. Well, A is in plane M, B is in plane M, Z is in plane M, and all the points that are in between. So this is a really weird answer until you kind of really understand what it's saying, but line A, Z is the intersection of plane M and line A, Z because the line is in the plane. All of the line is within the plane, so it ends up being those, those, the shared points. I'll give you another example when we're in class. Um, all right, true or false? B is in plane M. True or false? Well, true. We just talked about that. True or false? B is in plane N. Uh, it's actually false. It's kind of hard to see based on this diagram, but um, do you see how this, this line is, is on the, the uh, plane M? Well, B is actually out in front of it. It's, it you need to be able to see a three-dimensional version of this for it. Um, for if that doesn't make sense to you, because it is within the boundaries of it, which I, if I drew this, I would not have put B there. I would have put it out here to make it a little bit more clear. All right, here is a really interesting question. Are these three points coplanar? Well, clearly, those three points are not in plane M or in plane N together. But if you were to connect the dots of these, what would you get? Well, you'd get a triangle. 
a triangle represents a plane. So are, are these in a plane together? Well, yes. They're just in a plane that wasn't drawn in the original diagram. Okay? So are these three points coplanar? Yes, they are. All our three points are always going to be coplanar. Why? Because you can either make a line or a triangle always with that. Triangles represent planes, and so yes. Uh, so that's the first case where we're seeing uh, where the answer includes something that's not drawn for you. Sometimes these things aren't going to be drawn, which we'll have to learn how to handle that. All right, a couple more questions. Um, this is just a, a different type of diagram, right? And I hope that you see this now as a, a box, right? Um, points A, E, H, and what are coplanar? Uh, the other point that's in the, over there is D. Blank is the intersection of E, F, G, H, and B, C, G, F. Well, what are the points that are in both of those? Well, G and F. It's also the two points, the, the two um, letters that are in both of them. It's kind of a clue. Blank is the intersection of line AB and line BF. Well, what point is in both of those lines? B. And likewise, B is, is kind, of, kind of the question. gives you the answer. Number 17, what is the intersection of HF and, F and BF? Well, what point is in HF and BF? I don't need to see the diagram to know that it's F. But here's what's interesting about this. It's kind of like the, the triangle we talked about there. HF isn't drawn in the diagram, but it's there. Okay, so we will have, if there is a line that contains H and F, we just might have, might have to draw it, but the answer is F. Okay? Um, ADHE, plane ADHE and what do not intersect? That would be the one on the opposite side of it, B, C, G, F. And then, is this true or false? A, D, F, and G, those are coplanar. Well, this is another one of those deals where it's not drawn but it's there. I just wanted to give you a couple of examples in this of how that can happen. But there are lines and planes everywhere, um, which sometimes just, uh, they're not going to be drawn for you. Okay. Well, I hope that helps and makes a little bit of sense. Uh, hopefully it'll make a lot more sense when we go over this in class. Have a great rest of your day and get some rest.